is the king. So the baked beans myth. Let me tell you the story about baked beans. So everyone thinks I just, all I lived on in India for 12 weeks at the tour was baked beans. <laughs> False, incorrect. What happened? Remember in the early 90s and uh, mid 90s, the tours used to go around three months, around 12 weeks. So we're getting to about the nine week mark. We'd finished the test, about to play the one days. The coach, Jeff Marsh, he sits down at breakfast and he opens a little tin of spaghetti and a little tin of baked beans. And we sort of sat there after having the spicy stuff for so long in India, we thought, oh, how good would just a tin of spaghetti or a tin of baked beans be on toast? So we said to Jeff Marsh, we said, look, we've still got three weeks to go. We've got the one day series to go. Is it possible we could get some of these? And he said, well, I'll ring Cricket Australia. So the next day he tells us, we've spoken to Cricket Australia, they've organised it. And they should be here in a couple of days. We go, yes, it's going to be so good. So we get to the docks where the baked beans and spaghetti have been delivered and there's three tonnes of spaghetti and three tonnes of baked beans. And on the side of this big crate of where all of the baked beans and spaghetti is just Shane Warne. That's all it's written on the side. Not for any other player because there was all of us, a lot of players that wanted the spaghetti and baked beans, but they just had Shane Warne on both sides of these crates and three tonnes of each of spaghetti and beans. So we all helped ourselves to a few tins and we gave away the rest to all the people in India. And that's how the myth was born that I used to tour India and live on baked beans. <laughs>